Nanotechnology has the potential to change the world in many positive ways. It will improve many of the products that we use every day and make many new products possible. But how is it going to do that? In a nutshell, nanotechnology is the science of very small things, usually smaller than 100 nanometers. But how small is that? 100 nanometers is equivalent to about 1,000 atoms across or less. At this scale, things that we take for granted can behave in very different ways. You can understand the differences if you think about carbon. If you arrange carbon atoms one way, you get diamond. Arrange them another way, and you get graphite. Arrange them randomly, and you get soot. The nanotech way to arrange carbon atoms is to roll them into nanoscale tubes. When you do that, you get something amazing. Carbon nanotubes are incredibly strong and light. They'll make it possible to create things like space elevators. The elevator will run up and down a nanotube ribbon into space. Another application of nanotechnology can be seen in batteries. By making the granules inside the battery at a nanometer scale, it's possible to recharge the battery faster, and the battery lasts longer. The nanoparticles have a lot more surface area, and the whole battery works better. Some of the more exotic ideas in nanotechnology involve new assembly methods. Scientists are experimenting with new nanomaterials that can grow or assemble themselves. Right now, most things are made by taking a big piece of material and molding it or shaving it down. In the nanotechnology world, you start with atoms and build things up, giving you incredible control. Cells are already able to do this. The goal is to find ways for human beings to do this as well. Nanotechnology is still a very young science, but once it starts advancing, it will affect almost every part of our lives, from medicine to computers to cars. It will be fascinating to watch it unfold. So that's how nanotechnology works. I'm Marshall Brain, and that's how stuff works.